Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. We are on the map Ravenport and today we're going to be doing a little thing uh, trying to figure out because I got asked this question recently why I do I cut grass for silage in a field rather than planting corn. So there was a couple of things I thought of I'm like well hmm, I never really thought I have my reasons why I do grass instead of corn. But today we're going to do a little research of what is better grass or corn. So the first thing that we need to do is buy a field and plant corn. Yeah, plant corn. Uh, right now we're planting grass in it. I started exactly at 10 o'clock in the morning. We got a JCB planting grass. So step one I want to do with the grass. See how long it takes to the first stage of harvest. Then we will harvest the grass and put it in the BGA, which we do own the BGA. We'll see how many liters of grass we can get on the first stage of harvest. The fields will be equal. Right now, I, I bought the field. It's already fully fertilized. Uh, no weeds. Uh, well, let me turn that. Turn the fertilization off. So there's no weeds. It does not need to be plowed. does not need lime. So it is going to be double fertilized. The fields will be exactly the same. And then what we'll do is then we'll turn the field over, we'll plant corn in it, and we'll turn it into chaff on the first stage of harvest. We'll see how many liters of corn or, or chaff we can get compared to the amount of liters we get for grass. And then we'll compare the difference of why, uh, how you got to prep a field for grass rather than corn. Actually, we can kind of go over that now a little bit. So the benefit, the real benefits of grass that I see, and this, this is the kind of reason why I do it, just to make it a little bit easier. Once you plant a field of grass, you don't have to reseed it every time. Unlike corn, when you plant corn and then cut it into chaff, the corn's not going to grow back. You have to reseed it. Also, with a grass field, you're not going to have to probably plow it again. It always keeps one stage of fertilization, as long as you fertilize it when you seeded it. And far as I can tell right now, because I've been doing it on my Let's Play on Ravenport, I have yet to actually have to re-add lime again either. So once a grass field is planted right now, in, as we're in patch 1.2.1, something like that, yeah. Um, once you plant a grass field and you, you can keep cutting it over and over again, you don't have to reseed it, you don't have to plow it, you don't have to lime it. As for a corn field, every time you cut corn, you have to plow it. And you're probably asking, uh, if you haven't done corn yet, uh, improve yield. You have to plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So every time you plant corn and harvest it, you have to plow it. So if you want to do uh, may, uh, chaff from maize or corn, so after you harvest it, you're going to have to plow your field. You're going to have to do two stages of fertilization instead of one on a grass field. And your field also may require some lime. So there's already a big difference between the grass and the corn fields. So now the thing is, how much liter difference is there or how much yield difference is there on the same field between grass and corn? Well, today, we're going to find out. Is it going to be roughly the same? Is it going to be that much big of a difference where it will pay off to do corn um does grass actually grow faster than corn so that's why i i try to make a point to myself that we started seeding the field right at 10 o'clock so then we're going to wait to see how long it takes to get the first stage of harvest we'll write down the hours and we'll do the same with corn so i gotta get to work a little bit here well actually the helper is going to get a little bit to work he's planting some grass and i'll bring it back when we get to the first stage of harvest on the grass, we'll see how long it took for the grass to go from planting at 10 o'clock in the morning to first stage of harvest. Then we'll harvest the grass, see how many liters we get by plopping it in the BGA, and then we'll start over with the corn. So I'll see you in a while. Okay, so it's 1 a.m. in the morning, which is 15 hours from when we started planting the grass. First growth stage. Everything still looks good. Obviously, no weeds, no plowing, no liming. 
So we are ready to harvest, which kind of sucks because it's at night. But it's not too dark out. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to get to work here shortly. I'm going to harvest this grass. Now what I'm going to do is, since we own the BGA, it might be kind of hard to see it, but I went with Christmas colors on... It's all leaves, but... <laughs> It's all red and green stuff. I mean, it's Christmas Day you're seeing this video, so it's all east. Let's hop right in. I do have crop destruction turned off, so nothing weird can happen. Let's see. Uh, let me put the heads up because it's been a while. Not turn on forge wagon. L for pipe out for me. And I want to put him on a worker. So what I'm going to do with the BGA, since we got two pits, grass is going to go into one pit, and the corn is going to go into the other. But right now, I'm going to put this on a hired worker so he gets just a field and not the outside of the field. And uh, we'll see what we end up with liters of grass in a while. Well, here we are. It's almost 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock in the morning now. And now, we are shifting from a grass field to a corn field. So you can already see, because I get the extra stage of fertilization that stays when you do grass. This is going to be 100% fertilized. It's now growing, so I better write this down. That's 2 a.m. I am not going to show you the silage pit to show you how much grass we got. I'll make it like a... A fantastic finish when I show you the difference um, one thing I will say though this is my first time using the forage harvester on 19 don't use a hired helper because uh, it did not work that well I, it was actually missing spots and doing some weird stuff after the first throw I said alright that's it you're, you're fired uh, watch me knock down that sign so I need to return this header and get the corn header. But if all things going, I should see you in 15 hours. Because I'm assuming grass and corn are going to grow at the same speed. But then again, you don't have to assume. You're wrong. Uh, these are all leased items. And at least we should be able to do the corn when it is daylight out. Plus, I did refill the cedar with fertilizer and seed so we can see how much seed we actually use in that field so the cost difference for a field that size but uh, I think that's only going to come into play if it's a close amount of yield for both corn and grass so I just brought you back for a quick update yes the grass field has been mowed harvested put into a pit we are now converting it over to corn so, somewhere around 5 o'clock in the next evening, 5 p.m., or 17, or, yeah, somewhere around there, um, we should be back, maybe, harvesting corn on this first growth stage. So, I will see you once again in a while, when I start to harvest, well, for you it's going to be shortly, for me, uh, just a little while. Well, here we are at nighttime once again. <laughs> it is 2200 hours, or for some of us in the States, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Which means corn to hit the first stage of harvest takes 20 hours. And if you forgot, grass takes 15 hours to hit the first stage of harvest. So grass will hit the first stage of harvest five hours quicker than corn does, or maize. But uh, it is ready to be harvested. Uh, it is nighttime once again. But I got the Big M ready to roll. Or the Big X, I should say. Sorry, the Big X with a corn header on it. Our, our trail is ready to go. We're going to turn this into chaff. And uh, probably what I'll do just to make it better is after I get done, I'll, I'll just fast forward to morning so it's daylight out so we can see a little bit better. Huh. And then I'll show you the BGA and we'll show you the yield difference. And then we'll talk more about the difference between grass and corn for silage. So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you in the morning in a bit. And we'll go over the final stats. Well, it is morning. 
and the corn has been turned into chaff. So when we turn around, we're going to see one bay filled with the grass, one bay filled with the corn, and I don't think it's going to be to anyone's surprise what actually gave us more leaders. The question is, how many more leaders did we get? And there you have it. So in case you're wondering, grass is on the right, corn is on the left. Let's come down to ground level. So we come over here, that field, we got 640,380 liters of chaff from doing corn. From the grass, we got 247,730. I did some quick math. Uh, yeah, thanks uh, to my smartphone. Uh, basically, we got two and a half times more from corn than we did grass. So that should still hold true to any field. I mean, if you want to go by leaders, you can. You can say, well, it's got so many more leaders, but it comes out to be two and a half times more. So obviously, like we did uh, on Ravenport, if we did field eight, you know, if say you got 300,000 liters of grass, you would get pretty close to probably 800,000 liters of chaff. So, yes, you're going to get a lot more from doing corn. The only difference is now between the two, if we go to this page here, oddly enough, it does not need plowing. Why does it need plowing? Plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. Otherwise, minus 15%. Well, I'm not sure about that now. So, <laughs> yeah. So basically, I would say corn or maize is the way to go. Um, the only thing is you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to do more field work. That's all. You just got to seed every time and do two stages of fertilization instead of one. But the, if it pays out that much more, then it's probably worth it. You are going to probably have to get more equipment, uh, more expensive equipment, like a really good forage harvester. Whereas doing the grass, you could just buy the butterfly mowers and put it on a tractor and then go around the loading wagon. You're still going to need something to pick up the grass or to bring the corn either way. But, I mean, you can also get uh, a cheaper, you don't really need to get a forage harvester. Um, where would you find that actually in here? Because I kind of forgot. It's been a while. Let me look for it here. So this is what you could get and it, and it just attach it to your tractor right here. The Pottinger. It's only 38 grand, so it's not too bad. Uh, but if, obviously if you want to do a forage harvester, you're going to have to get like a, a big size, decent size header for it. And they pretty much start like at, well, this one starts at 80. And, of course, they go up. So, you know, it all depends on what you decide to do. Uh, I was just trying to do the video to see how much more liters of corn than you get from grass. So, it's, be, it's two and a half times. And just trying to, you know, also say, well, you do have the field work. As for the seed and the fertilizer, I brought the fast track over there. I think it cost me $1,200 to refill the fertilizer and the seed together. So, that was kind of very minute. Uh, to not even really bring up. It's just going to be more time taking to do the corn every time. But if you're going to get two and a half times the yield. It's probably better worth it to do the corn. Even though <laughs> on my playthrough I'm doing grass to start with. Uh, I, I may switch over to corn in the future. Uh, when I get more money there. If you wonder about my playthrough. Uh, yeah I'll, I'll leave a little something at the end of the video. So you can click on the playthrough. Uh, the playlist if you like. But uh, that's going to be my little, my little deal on between corn and grass. Um, you know, do it the way you still feel like it. I'm just trying to give you some helpful hints on maybe the yield difference and how to approach it on the field. Uh, some people are still, going, are still going to doing grass. Some people are still going to doing corn. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. That's the difference between the corn and the grass on yield difference. Two and a half times, it seems like. So hopefully this video is helpful to you, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. But until then, have a good one.